And there you can see the players getting into the zone as they're about to begin the third and potential final round of these tie breaks. Uh, any predictions for the opening of the game between Prague and Fabi? C4. C4. <laughs> Turning the tables. Whatever you can do, I can do better. C4? Mm, I have no idea. Seriously. E4s, E5s. Prague can do anything, I want to say. And especially right. in a shorter time, a time control. Okay. okay, and here we are. D. D4. D4. And now the bishop the comes out to g5, the Tromposki. So d5 is the response, knight to d2. Making sure that no knight can hop into e4. Minus uh, knight d2. I was about to say e6, e4, we could transpose into a Rubenstein French, <laughs> which is a funny way of getting there. But e3 on the board. Okay, so c5, standard stuff. Just uh, countering in the center. Maybe, maybe we want to tickle with queen b6, but you don't have to do that. Knight c6 is pretty standard. c3 is the response. Now I have seen players uh, in this particular move order Playing the strange move f4. Oh, I tried that against the computer. F4. With, with great success? No, it <laughs> did not like it at all because there was often the c takes d4 idea at the right time. Normally but I, speaking, I'm recapturing with the e pawn. Right, yeah. but there was some, I was trying it with a bishop, black bishop on d6 and. That didn't work. Yeah, it, it was not good. Okay. But After I discovered that if black is very reluctant to go c5, goes make b6, bishop b7, then you can go f4 without any danger. Mira. So it might not be good after knight c6, but in our position, is it good or bad? I have no idea, but this is the most popular move. f4. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. So the Harry 73 Nelson. games and f4 been seen in 31 of those. Very popular. Harry Nelson Pillsbury, uh, the Pillsbury attack. You go f4, knight f3, knight e5, bishop d3, and as we say, the rest plays itself. I thought you were going to say, the rest is history. And the rest is history as well. There we go, knight to d7, and uh, for, for, for uh, Fabi's fan, fan ooh. f4 indeed played. That, that's annoying. I, I would say if I'm in Fabi's shoes, that's probably the one, the, the one move I, I least wanted to see. Knight f3, I would have been happy about. But okay, here we are. We're, we're in the thick of things here. Uh, bishop to d3. What happened in those 31 games mm, where see. f4 was sa well this position was still well it actually transposes and now we have 43 games in this position it's getting more and more popular is what yeah. you're telling me <laughs> <laughs> right As maybe we... they play along the line of this tiebreak and add it to the database right uh well 95 as you may have guessed yeah. queen e2 trying to be flexible that's not another bad. move not bad castle short not bad that's but... it but 95, 95 looks, looks very, the most standard. Yeah. 95, I mean, I don't like the way that Fabi's played this with a very, very early knight to d7. Because this just feels like a very good London system. Like, you know, you get your 95 castles, you haven't had to kind of put the bishop on f4 and then move it out of the way. Mm -hmm. uh, on the other hand, Black hasn't really done anything terribly wrong. You know, you get to play knight e5. Let's say I castle uh, bishop takes f6. Okay, that's a little bit of a relief. Bishop takes f6. I wonder what on earth induced that one. Uh, Miro, does anybody play bishop takes yes, f6? Yes, somebody did. I and think it was like, well, five games, in fact. So it's not as silly. And, and all three captures being seen. 
GF, GF as well. Yeah, six with, and Bishop F6. GF computer has even like the best, the top choice. Wow. And yeah, Knight F6, Knight E5 is again very much understandable, right? right. So you get rid of the, you do the Capablanca And thing. guess what? Fabi is up to the task. He recaptures with the pawn, and essentially what he's saying is, for my double pawns, I have something very nice. I'm keeping this knight restricted. Now, one reason why we might have played f4 is to play f5, but since black's king hasn't committed itself to castling, we delay that move f5. Yep, and the king castles... Do you now like it a little bit more for Fabi than before? Because we do have queen c7, and maybe on a good day, we could park our king over there. The short answer is no. No, I you don't still like won't it. like it. Yes, because there's no natural pawn break. Yes, there's an open g line, but okay, f5 played. And guess what? He's basically saying no pawn break for you too. The there may be no pawn break for me, but there's no right, pawn break but for the you. Black King is not comfortable. Knight e5 is on the agenda. Yeah. And you've got to do something about that potential pin because bishop b5 is coming. Yeah, no, I'm grabbing the knight. I am definitely grabbing the knight. How would you recapture after knight e5, by the way? Would you recapture with an f4 pawn? Yes. Okay. That's my vibe and try to post up a knight on f4. Funnily enough, if we did see the move knight e5, I, oops, sorry. If we did see the knight e5, my first instinct was to stop you from putting your knight on f4 by yeah. putting my bishop uh, and meeting check with, you know, king e7. I was ready to play queen to g8. Let's, uh, yes. So let's take a look at what is happening elsewhere. Wow, shall we? let's head there because it's very dramatic. What has happened here? I see a white pawn all the way on a6. This Black's is from king a side is crippled. No, it. Yes, it is a Sveshnikov. No, it's. Is it a Kalashnikov? Yes, but no f5. And the knight. Wow. Uh, I've got to say, this is all theory. Right, Miro? <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> not at all. Not at all. All theory. Uh, Everybody. Let me tell you something. Like Please. computer says white is winning already since move 14 or something. Okay. So I, my, I have two versions of what has happened. It's either Gukesh, who by the way plays very fast, has blundered. everything analyzed on much better computer that I have access to, or he actually confused uh, the opening moves, and then, yeah. It's compromised his king. Is compromised the case his king. Because on... White's plan is so simple castle, kingside. Knight g3, bring yes. the queen, Knight win H, the game. Right. Yes. Exactly. And I think the computer is going to agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> Castles, knight g3, knight h5, bring your queen and win the game. So Fabi will have to... Fabi yeah. will have to, re have to record a result. He can't just cruise to a win, uh, to victory in the tournament. Knight e2, interesting move. I was actually thinking you might play knight to b5 and castle after queen takes a6. But knight e2. I like the idea. Castles, it's knight g3, and knight powerful. h5. The queen, the white queen can get involved somehow and then... How do you stop that? Yep. And this bishop on d3, it just connects white's pawn structure together. Bad bishops... Makes good defenders. Protect good pawns. The pawn on e4 is good, the pawn on a6 is good, and the pawn on c6, c2 is good because it actually uh, anchors the bishop. This looks really good. I'm gonna go back to the game between Prague and Fabi because when we left it, the position I think is actually oh. very, very intriguing. And by the way, mm. after f5, bishop to b5, bishop f6. Okay, so isn't Fabi in trouble? I was about to say, why aren't we playing a6? Bishop f5, 95 takes, takes, a6. 
And that would be dramatic for the standings yeah. once more because if Fabiano oh. loses this and Ali Reza or Gukesh Stop. win, we are in no. for Armageddon. Oh, Armageddon. Stop it. Stop it. No. Wait a okay. second. Isn't bishop it takes d7. Like the classical good night, good night against bad bishop situation. It is. It is. And Jovi uh, spotted it miles away. She said, I'm going to put my knight on f4. Yeah. And she is. I, I mean, will. yes. Uh, whether you go h4 to g2 to f4. I'm not sure about knight f3, but this one also works. Yeah. Well, no. a5 played, knight g5. That knight is headed towards f4 via h3. As and also as the queen quick can, as a whip. The queen can also post up to h5. No, this is strategically. You know, it's very it's strange. Uh, there are certain positions that we as grandmasters, we just say, Oh, love it, love it and hate it. And the computer is like plus 25, plus, you know, yeah. 0.25. And we say, I say white is strategically winning. Just, it, it's really that simple. And the computer says, no, the bishop is actually okay. And, you can get out, there's and, some defenses, and resources like, no, further down the line. Anyway, like, this you is play terrible. very short time control. Yeah. How on earth you are supposed to find all those easy, oh, sorry, very hard maneuvering with bishop, like how to activate the bishop and so on. For right. white, it's so easy. Like right. right on f4, and, and you sits. can make 50 moves in like 10 seconds. Exactly. You can put your knight on f4, you can bring your rook to h3, you can bring your queen to h5. Everything just kind of goes. Ooh. H5, H5, by the way. H5. Uh, wow. H5. Okay, I, I like that, that move. It queen stops H5. queen h5. It did. Uh, I know that I, the computer gave it a question computer mark. Computer is not happy. Yeah, but that's at because all. it's perfect. I, yeah. I say we disregard at it. All. It's not perfect. We're not perfect. Um, I'm thinking to play knight to h3 to f4. Is there a reason maybe I should bring my rook to h4? That would be a very strange way of going about things. Yep. But yeah, I, I'm I'm playing knight h3 to f4. Yeah. Planting I... my knight on some very, very good squares on the king side. I agree. It's also Is time a, a factor in well, this one? Well Pragnanda, four minutes and eighteen seconds. Knight oh. h3. Fabiano, six minutes and forty-two seconds ticking down. I see on my monitor the computer doesn't like this move. Yeah. It, it, it must have felt that there was a, a stronger uh, alternative. What was the... It thought the best move was h4, which is not... Uh, well, and just, not just keeping the yeah. knight on g5. g5. H4, I presume you would eventually move the knight, but first you could get the rook on g3, king on h2, kind of get in all the preparation moves. And then reroute. Yeah. H5 would be constantly hanging. Well, H4 played. H4, like at least you do not have to care about the H pawn anymore, right? In yeah. order for White to open the position, he mm. will have to exchange it mm. instead of winning it on H5. And well, where's the Black King going to hide? For me, it would just hide in the center. D8, C8. Yes. D8. King D8, King C7. King C7 is what I was thinking of. Yep, that's what computer and does. With I don't want to be casting queenside because you do that and there's too many hooks to open up the position for black. Right. So for me, uh, again, I think Fabi, you know, strategically he had to do something that maybe he wasn't, you know, really happy about doing. For me, I am playing for G3. Uh, whether I play rook F3 and G3, uh, I do want to trade my pawn here and I do want to play h3 and get a passer. Wait a second, there is also a big question. Do we try to stop, if it's possible, do we try to stop knight h5? Because planting a knight on f6 would mean is that very white big. probably wins the h pawn for free. Which is a big pawn to lose. And by the way, just to keep you abreast of the news, yes. in the other game, Ali Reza against Kukash, Ali Reza looks like to be completely winning. Let's Ooh. just go there for a moment. I mean, we will return, of course, but uh, Ali Reza. Ooh. C4 is what I have up there on my screen Ooh. as a winning move. 
Ooh, that's nasty. That defends the rook. And of course, c4 played, defends yep. the rook, Attacks liquidates the queen. into a winning endgame. Easily, easily. What, with that pawn on a6? We've got rook a7. Yeah. We've got rook b6. b7. Yeah, it's definitely, this feels like it's completely winning. Takes, takes, And uh, white takes. is now posted up rook b7. That is a powerful move. Okay, so neither so knight. So this means well. that Fabiano has to has score. Has to win. No, has to no, score. No, has, to, has score to score half a point. Pardon me, apologies. Otherwise, <laughs> Ali Reza joins him. Yeah, two out It'll of be two more out of games. Yeah. Three, yeah. And we're going to be looking at an Armageddon. One Good. more game. Well, as of now, uh, while well, draw for Fabi is not impossible, but neither it is guaranteed. You know. By the way, rook f2, and with this move rook b1, a completely different approach by Prague. I thought he could just win it on the queen's, king, king side uh, by playing g3, getting a passed h pawn, doubling rooks on the g file, and easy peasy. He's going for a queen side break with b4. b4? That's why he played rook b1. Uh huh. Then could you. Or will you play h3, king h2 at some point, maybe? And Prague has decided that he can and should post his knight to f6. And then he wants to play rook to f4 and queen e1. But the knight is on a limb on h5. It's not stable there. Computer's not impressed there. <laughs> at all, by the way, after knight h5. No. Computer says go h3. Well, white's forced to go g3, I guess. Not, not opening. Take it. Uh, well, h3, take it. Ooh, you, 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 you're a bri you brave man. No, I wanted, I wanted <laughs> the brave passed h pawn. <laughs> because I, I, I felt that with the knight on f4, I'll go back with the knight on f4. And yeah, fair enough. And I'll put my enough, rook on g2. Take. And I'll put my well, rook on g2. Bishop a6 played. Bishop I like bishop a6. a6. You've got to be careful, right? Because if you move your queen from d1, bishop to d3, bishop to e5 in the air. Exactly. E4, right? He has played knight f6 or not? Pardon me, I thought I saw a move. Uh, no, no move played. Bishop a6 is the last move. And rook to d2. Rook to d2 to stop bishop d3, right? Mm -hmm. Rook to d2. But can I Gosh, do h3 now? Or? That feels so awkward. Why did I need to play rook to d2? Why didn't he go knight f6, which was his intention? Well, maybe he doesn't want the knight saddled on f6. It looks pretty, but it doesn't do that much. Uh, it stops rook g8 businesses. King a7, queen to f3. Okay. Again, if our knight is on f6. Queen a4, attacking the pawn on a2. Fabi is just being his uh, honorary best. Whoa. Just trying he's to been make difficult, it, right? It, yeah. He's Queen trying to... comes back to c6. And in terms of the clock situation, Pragnanda yes. just under three minutes. And uh, this one is over. It is a victory for Ali Reza against Gukesh, so that means he moves to two points out of three and puts the pressure on Fabiano Caruana, he who has to does. score with the black pieces against Pragnananda. We just see a3, a, pardon me, a4, uh, menacing a3, potentially creating a weakness on c3. Hence, I would play a3 and say, great, congratulations, you have a b3 square, enjoy yourself, but I don't want to see the disruptive a4, a3. Now keep in mind, there's still a black king on a7, so a3 could weaken, you know, a3 played. A3, a3 played nonetheless. Uh huh. Okay, we have the threat of queen to b5. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why is that a threat? I want to go bishop d3. Bishop to d3. I'm insistent. Even then, it's. It's not, not the that, big that, threat, but maybe. maybe. Okay, if I'm in, if I'm white, I'm playing h3, king h2, rook on a1 to g1, g3, and g3 takes h4. 
So you go ahead and put your bishop. Well, what I wanted to do is yes. some weird moves. Like I'm prepared to sacrifice an exchange in order to get a bishop to e4. I don't think mm. y you can. Wait, there is one maneuver that please uh, black can achieve. Kind of play, yes, have to go rook h6 after right. your h3, for instance, to play rook h8, and then the other rook can go to g6 or not. So right. two rooks on the h file. Yeah. Yes. Stopping you from going g3 that easily. And also in some cases, rook h6 goes to g6. You don't get rook h6. In the game, I see there's a queen parked on okay. f4. Well, and he's G1. going for the line, at least I prescribed, uh, uh, with yeah. rook to g1. But eventually, when white plays g4 or g3, Ampassan is necessary. Yeah. Because you don't want to see the g-pawn basically going to g4 and capturing on f5. So g4, Ampassan, I recapture with the rook. And by the way, because the king is on a7, a dream for, for, for white is to go rook to g3, double rooks, and go rook g7. And then it's just strategically, yeah. it's gone. That's actually right. tricky again, because... No, not again. Well, yes. What has he done? It's not an easy, not an easy position to play. Really? Rook h6, rook h6. To, in order to go queen h8, and he should have done this with the rooks to keep the queen, rook like, to go into b5 or something. He has done what he He has just... done it. Right. It's still not bad. Yeah, you cut the queen on h8 and this battery on the h pile. It doesn't do an awful lot, but it stops you from getting kind of g2, g3 g4 easily. g4 played. Yeah. g4 played, okay. And now queen, queen h8. Queen h8 is strictly only move, queen h8. Otherwise, yep, played. Queen h8. So uh, rook to g2. Um, no, there's a bishop f1 sighting. Just a second. I, I I want to be able to play rook g7, but my my uh, h3 pawn needs protection. Do you know what I Please. would like to do? Please. I would like to go queen f3, rook yep. g2, king g1, king f2. Rook g8. And aren't you too slow? After <laughs> queen f3, there is rook h4. Ooh, wait a minute, wait a queen minute. Queen g5? Queen g5. He's setting himself okay. up for queen g7, okay, rook knight, h3. Knight to g8 as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, bishop f1. Rook takes pawn is the threat. I didn't like queen to g5. What was queen to g5? <gasps> well, how do you keep control as white? King to King G1, G1, bishop takes pawn. Well, there's bishop rook takes pawn, rook no, H2. Rook H2, rook H2. Uh -huh. Hello, hello. There is rook G6 in the position. Rook G6, queen F4? I'm not sure I should have it's lost this. It's a crazy, this. crazy position there. I'm not sure I should have lost this H3 pawn, but who knows? You didn't lose it yet. <laughs> yeah, I sacrificed it. No, just it really it's not that easy to take. Yeah. Not oh. because of your rook h2 ideas. Yes, not my ideas. <laughs> and one minute 42 seconds for, Fabi for Fabiano. Versus? One minute and 25 seconds. And they are getting a five second time bonus per move. But when the position this, is as tense as this, this is it they're for going those to need... It's going on. For those of us joining us late, this is the deciding game in the playoff tiebreaker as Fabi leads with two out of two, but Ali Reza has two out of three, and and Fabi needs to draw. You know what Kobe suggests? Go back with the bishop. Rook g6 played. Right. Rook g6. Queen. Queen f4 is the only move. Only move. Rook takes rook. Well, rook takes, queen takes. And then this whole idea of rook h2 and h4, h5, h6 takes shape. That just wins the game. Yeah, but there is ideas of uh, rook takes rook and then queen takes h3. h3. Yeah, that's a good one. And uh, there you see the rooks have traded off. You have queen to Queen take. takes h3 played. And uh, now so we've we got to take... take and then go rook h2, and why isn't that just winning? Well, the bishop can... Uh, bishop goes to g4. g4. Rook h7. And king, forward. 
A6, oh. B5, C4. Ah, that's your that's only source of counterplay anyway, right? Anyway, right? Yes. Ah, and there also could be some moment where you go four with black. I don't know if you have the time for this, but like F4, C takes, E takes, yeah, like create something. Right, but no, King A4. Oh, you can actually defend the F7 for now. Go Rook C7, no? A little scary, I can go knight e8 to d6. d6. And then the king. Yeah, you move knight d6 and king a6 and go take it. Ah, but the, the king, king is not going, going yeah. in. Yeah. I think you've got to make that run for freedom I, right now. King a6, yeah, and indeed he to. does it. Bobby's making the most out of his chances. So rook takes, f7, king to b5. I'm going to play rook to b7 to try to yeah. keep your king honest. So it doesn't go to c4. So rook to b7 playing a little bit. There was bit a way for Fabi to defensive. keep equality, but it was very, very complex. Rook e7. Whoa. Oh, what a nice move there from Prague. If the king comes up to c4, you can just simply capture the pawn on e6. And I'm sorry. You have to go f4. f4. You have then to go, absolutely have to go f4 here. Rook takes b6. Okay, c so he takes, catches on d4. E takes lost. No, f4 was necessary. Rook F4 was C absolutely six. necessary. And now it's just kind of slowish death. King comes closer, the knight, if anything, will be transferred back to F4. But still, you have to factor in that the black king is two moves away from being a real annoyance. Well, the problem here is I see it as rook to d7, followed by rook to d6, and your black king is not going anywhere when I have my rook coming to b6. So I see rook d7 as a winning idea for white. Rook d7 yeah. and rook d6. Well, 20 seconds for Pragananda. You can just feel the tension here. And Oof. once again, Fabiana Caruana needs to score a result in order to become super pet Chess champion and Rick A7. A7. He blinked. Not great. And then, yes, you do Rick go king A2. c4 immediately. Immediately. King to b3 and back Whoa. in business. He's back in this business. One's, oh, but hang on a second. This is You've better for bishop black. E, d, sorry, bishop d1. Bishop, bishop d1 c2. was winning for black. King b3 is a mistake, but then it's better. No, and back now to bishop, it's bishop d1. He's bishop done f3, it. anything. He's done Fabi, it. Yeah. Fabi is going to win the tournament. And there's panic in Pragnanda. Three seconds left. And bishop c2. Bishop c2. And, yeah. Black's king is going to decide the day. King takes, and then the c3 falls as well, and this kind of breakthrough. Doesn't work. It I'm doesn't guessing work. you just collect all the pawns. And you see a very shaken. Prague, Prague, as he's realized that he's done it all, it's, he, he goofed. He's done it all wrong. Collect all the pawns, right? Absolutely. You Come take on. on c4 with the pawn, thank I guess. for the passer. Yep. Yeah. And then d5 you e take again. Thank you for okay, the e6. passer. And then can you just... Rook e7, then eventually if you win the rook, you win the rook. I mean, the pawns <laughs> wow. will be on like c3, d3. And e let's not forget you he need a draw. He captures with... The yeah, rook, well, this one that's is also yes. very minus nice. five. Yeah, minus five. Again, easily. no risk at all here for Fabiano. Uh, well, he just has to keep an eye on this e pawn. That is true. Once again, so you can go rook c7. I would you can move your bishop. Play bishop king, e3. king b3. Very nice. E6, a3. Yep. E7, rook c8. E6. Is this what he's doing? He's no, going to go rook c7. Yeah, he goes here. Okay. Yeah, ah, so it. there is no knight f5 even. No, that's it. That's there is just, no e7, there that's is a, nothing. That's a clincher. That was the money move. And the a pawn is going. Yeah. But that is the knight with check. the check. Yeah. And, Ooh, and we have a champion. Wow. That was a nerve wracking. Uh, yeah? <laughs> he did it the hard way. <laughs> it was not Fabi. without adventure, but Fabiana <laughs> Caruana is the Super Bet Chess Classic champion of 2024. He does I, it again. I don't think he saw that coming when he went to bed last night. <laughs> you know he could offer draw to Giri, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, three out of three. Yeah. He won the, he, no question about it, he won the playoff. Yeah. Yeah. He'll, be, he'll be very pleased with that because, again, after that 2018 World Championship match, he really concentrated, he wanted to improve, 
his rapid and blitz skills, and well, he proved he proved yep. it. Oh, and a hug by Anastasia. Getting the yeah. congratulations from Anastasia from the crowd. A round of applause as well. Feeling the love. Ooh. But boy, what a day. he came back from the dead. He is strategically yeah, rebirth. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, strategically, and and at just at a, a moment when he just really had played so well, Prague panicked right here. Oh, as we see Leonard, our so. photographer, uh, asking how he feels. Yeah. We'll wait for the moment. We all felt the emotions of, of the day for the champion. Absolutely. I he starts did. the day with a loss in classical. He thinks it's all over. It's all in the hands of Ali Reza Farouja, who's winning, who's winning against Pragnananda. Fails at the winning post. Exactly. It's a draw. It's now a four-way tie break. Anything can happen. Right. And Fabiano manages managed three win. points so out it of is. three. And this is how this one has ended. Fabiano Caruana is the winner of the Superbet Chess Classic, winning $68,750. Ali Reza there in second place, 58,750. And there's also a tie with Pragnananda, Gukash, and Yana Pomniachi did finish with nine clean draws to be on 50% alongside Anish Giri and Maxime Vashilagraf. But he is the champion once more, winning the double this winner of last year as well. well we what see an event. How, yeah, well, we see how hard it is to win. Uh, a single classical game to win the tournament back to back. Bravo, bravo, Fabi. Yes. Salute. An event full of twists and turns. What were your <laughs> highlights? <laughs> Thrills and spills galore, what can I say? Uh, critical position occurred, what was it, move 52 or so? This is where, oh my gosh, he's getting swarmed. But it's such a lovely feeling. I know. Well, just that it's over. Yeah. You, you just have this immediate sense of relief. But he can't relax too long because on the July the 9th, moves. the circus moves to Croatia, to Zagreb, where we have the Super United Rapid and Blitz. Right. Yeah, and the critical moment, I, this is where um, uh, 